I'm Yafra Khan from Skill Curve, and in this lab, we will deploy our WordPress application on Google Cloud Kubernetes engine with persistent disks using a MySQL database. Firstly, we will log in to our Google Cloud account. We will then create a GKE cluster from Cloud Shell. Then we will create a persistent volume backed by persistent disk. After that, we will create a Cloud SQL instance. And finally, we will deploy WordPress and set up our WordPress blog. So let's get started. Now we will set the project ID for the CLI. Okay, now we need to enable the APIs of GKE and the SQL admin. So we'll use this command. We will now clone the GitHub repository containing Kubernetes engine samples with this command. We will now set the working directory environment variable. Now that our environment is set, we will proceed to create our GKE cluster to host our WordPress app with the following command. So first we are setting the cluster name. Then we are using the command gcloud container clusters create and then the cluster name. This will take some time to execute. So now our GK cluster has been created. We can see the details over here. The next step is to create a PVC as the required storage for the WordPress. GK has a default storage resource installed that lets you dynamically provision the persistent volumes backed by the persistent disk. To create the persistent volume claims required for deployment, we use the WordPress volume claim.yaml file. Our manifest file has been deployed with the get command. persistent volume claim command will show the output including the name, status, volume, capacity and access. The next step would be to create a SQL instance. We will name the instance WordPress SQL instance. Then we will create the SQL instance with this command. So our SQL instance is being created. Now we will create a database inside our SQL instance for the WordPress to store its data. We will use the command gcloud sql databases create and then write the database name and then the instance name. In our database has been created. Now we will create a database user called WordPress and generate a password for it. Now we are done setting up the database for our WordPress blog. Now let's go to the Cloud SQL from console. So here we can see our WordPress SQL instance. So if we click on it, we can see all the details, including the CPU utilization. In the databases option, we can see our WordPress database over here. Now, before we deploy our WordPress blog, we need to create a service account. After which we will create a Kubernetes secret to hold the service account credentials. First, we'll give a name to the service account called Cloud SQL Proxy. And then we'll create the account using the command gcloud im service accounts create and then the name then we will add the service account email address as the environment variable now we will add the cloud sql dot client role to our newly created service account We will then create a key for our service account. 
using the command gcloud im service accounts keys create. Next, we will create a Kubernetes secret for service account credentials that we have just generated. So we'll use the command cubic tl create secret generic and then the credentials followed by the username and the password. Next, we will create a Kubernetes secret for the service account credentials that we generated. So here we'll specify our key.json file. Now we are ready to deploy our WordPress app into the GKE cluster. The WordPress underscore cloud SQL.yaml manifest file describes a deployment that creates a container with a WordPress instance. This container reads the WordPress DB password environment variable. We will substitute the instance connection name environment variable with this command. Then we will deploy this manifest file using the cubic tl create command. Now we will watch the deployment to see the status. So the status is running. Now we will expose the WordPress service to make it accessible outside our cluster. This step will generate an external IP through which we can access our service. Our next step is to set up our WordPress blog. We will paste the IP address in the browser to expose the WordPress instance. Then the installation, we'll choose the language and then set the title. And we'll set a username and specify the email address and then click on install wordpress so here it brings us to the main page of our blog we can write hello gcp world write the name email and then click on post comment in this lab we learned how to deploy a WordPress blog on Google Cloud Kubernetes engine using MySQL database engine as a storage mechanism. I hope this was helpful in getting you started with the concept and application of Google Cloud Kubernetes engine.